Today we are going to be playing Are You a Sociopath? Wait, we did this one before! That was a psychopath. What, what's the difference again? Uh, I don't know. Look, listen, none of this, none of what we do is scientific. <laughs> this is just for fun. Honestly, you could call this psychopath part two. We we're just calling it a sociopath because everybody likes talking about sociopaths nowadays. It's just for fun. Today we have a special guest, our OG of OG in Damn Plan. Jay. Say hi, Jay. Hello. It's been a while, Jay. It actually has been. Yeah, it's been a very long time. How are you? Oh, uh, I can't really answer that question in a happy tone. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, Jay. Stop it. Stop it. You can cry after the recording. I was thinking to myself, who could contest in a sociopathic test with Steven? And I could only come up with one person. A second Steven. <laughs> that was Jay. Oh, okay. Whoever wins gets bragging rights and a mental disorder. All right. Okay. You ready? Wow. Question number one. A serial killer was chasing you down, but suddenly stops and makes a phone call to you. Why did he make a phone call? Stop running. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, Stop it, would, it. it would make me slow down. Because you were hiding and they wanted to find you. I have no clue why they would call someone. I do What's not... What's the monotone, Steven? <laughs> I do not know why the psychopath decided to do this. And I do not want to comment further. Are, are you feeling okay, Steven? I am feeling great. There is no one behind me. <laughs> If I'm running away and I'm hiding, I'm bound to either slow down or the serial killer can essentially just pinpoint my location. So the answer is to listen to the sound of bell ringing so we can locate the victim. Congratulations, Hosense. Jay, you guys get one point. Hey, Hosense. Good job, you two. I'm, I'm actually worried about Steven. It's all right. He'll die probably. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. A man wants to kill his own boss. He rushes into the store and there he sees a $5 knife and a $50 knife. He buys the $5 knife and he rushes out. Why did he pick the $5 knife? Okay, I have an answer because with the $50 knife, yes. $50, right? Yeah. Do you have 50 bucks in your wallet right now? Yeah, no, I, I don't have any cash. You're You're gonna have to use a debit card or a credit card. For you to not have an alibi, you need to buy a cheap knife that you can pay with the cash. Yes, I agree with Hosa. <laughs> Everything he said is right, but I actually think it's because he wants to make some food afterwards with the same knife. Get rid of the evidence. No, no. if, if you want to make food, then wouldn't you just buy the $50 one? Do you guys really want to cook food with the knife that you used it to kill people? Hey, he's a sociopath, what he- Hydrogen oh peroxide <laughs> takes off blood, Hosa. I don't know how you don't know this. Right. If I want to kill someone, <laughs> for the reason being, I hate that person, my number one instinct is to make it as miserable as possible. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> if I'm going to actually murder someone out of pure hatred, I might as well make it living hell for the other person, right? Am, am I the only one thinking that way? Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so the answer is to kill the boss more painfully with the dull knife. Oh, oh. see? I told you, you want to make it miserable. I don't know if I want to give him the point. <laughs> a man who owns a business goes bankrupt, so he started to work somewhere else. The man hides this fact from his wife. One day, she finds out, but she acts as if she doesn't know for his own sake. But soon the husband finds out, and once he does, he locks her in the house and burns the house down. Why? Typical reaction. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't have that much money anymore, and so he was working really, really hard, and she pretended to not know, and when mm -hmm. the husband found out, wife essentially didn't help in the financial difficulty. Out of pure spite, I would burn someone. <laughs> Wait, why did it turn from husband to I would? Um, uh, uh, the, the husband would have the 
and sent him to burn the wine. <laughs> sure, what about you, Steven? Why not? It's fun. I can't agree with that. It is. It's just delightful knowing that you have some power over someone in your life. Okay, all right. Hosa? I was thinking maybe for insurance or maybe like the new job was an illegal job. Thank you for the normal answer. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. The answer is basically a woman who's okay with not being a CEO's wife is not worth keeping. That uh, was the answer. What? Both of you have proven that maybe that is not the worst answer. Uh, <laughs> no one gets a point. Okay, your but face. both of you need help. Wait, me? Hosa, come over here. Get away from those people. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> All right, this one is a bit gross, but hear me out. A paralyzed woman was found dead in pieces. The killer was suspected to be her little sister who nursed the woman. When they pieced the woman's body together, 20% of it was missing. It turns out that the little sister ate the woman little bit every day. Why did she eat her? Okay, my initial gut instinct. I think it's just telling me straight up. She just wanted the older sister to be part of her. That's so morphed. Okay, why would you ever eat someone else other than being delicious? Am, am I the weird one here? Why am I getting so many blanks? I don't know if you're supposed to. <laughs> hey, you're the one who asked the not safe for work question. Hosa, what's your answer? So she ate her. Like, we know this for sure. Why the heck would anyone eat someone? What? Vitamin deficiency. Oh, dude, there, there's another reason. There we go. <laughs> Stop agreeing with him. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like Jay. I like you too. But, okay, so the answer is to keep a little bit with her every day. Oh, so it was yandere root. Okay, so Jay, you did get it right. I just didn't like the fact that you got it right in two seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, listen, um, thanks for coming on board. I think this is where we have to say goodbye. I don't know, I like Jay. He kind of thinks like me. Kinda? <laughs> Steven, kinda? <laughs> A family. Mom, dad, and son were extremely close. The neighborhood knew them as a close-knit family who loved each other. As the son grew, he started to go to elementary school, but he got bullied because his parents still brought him to school every day. Soon, his parents started killing children from the school every Good. couple of months. <coughs> why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> Bullying children get killed, and I agree with that justice. Hosa, why? But they're children. Oh no. My initial thought was, they came to the school with the child so that they can recognize who the bullies are. And that's why they killed the bullies, right? Yeah, that's it. Like, there's no more. Wow, what a normal, <laughs> what a basic answer. There's Steven and me, and then there's Hosa. Have you never bullied someone, Hosa? You don't bully them with their parents there or any authority figure. No, the child can still tattletale who they are. No, I'm pretty sure the kid is killing them. Oh, the kid is oh, killing them. Oh, so the kid yeah. is killing them, and the parents were kind of taking yeah. the blame for it. Oh, interesting. What, are you, what do you think, Jay? If I want to think about the long-term process here, rather than the short-term just killing off competition, if I had a kid who was getting bullied and the bullying reason was because oh like you're here with your mom and dad imagine you are a parent of a child and there's a serial killer going around would you or would you not just let your kid go off on your own oh right i see so if oh everybody is now having their parents drop off why why would he be get bullied anymore that creeped me out <laughs> ding 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 that gave me the chills <laughs> that's the answer oh my god to make it so that taking kids to school becomes the norm yeah i got it right um, um, Jay. Hi, Dan. Buddy. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mind if I visit? <laughs> he doesn't mind, go. No, I do. Basically, what Jay just said is the parents killed a couple kids so that no parent would let their children walk people to school. So taking people to school becomes the norm and therefore their kid won't be bullied anymore. That's uh, such a creepy answer and... <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Jay. You get another point. <laughs> great, great job. Last question. You, a serial killer, was released from prison. Oh, yay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you get yourself a job, a house, and you know what? You got a stable life now. You then paint the floor of your house black. Why? Well, because it gets cold in the winter and black absorbs light better. <laughs> that is such a scientific answer. Clearly, yeah, that's the answer. That's to remember what game we're playing? <laughs> Are you a sociopath? Oh, well. <laughs> I... Are you a scientist? Yeah, all I heard was scientist, so. <laughs> Hosa? My initial thought was maybe he missed prison? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hosa? Yeah, I, so I want you to keep your innocence. Thanks. Like the level of innocence that you have. Unacceptable, Jay. He has to be corrupted just like me. What the about you, Jay? What are you yeah, thinking? Yeah, Jay, give us the answers. <laughs> okay, so if I'm a serial killer. Okay. Here he goes again. What's your serial killer? How? What do you think the percentage of serial killers actually reform and not be a serial killer? All of them. Let all the serial killers out of jail. They don't deserve it. Right? 
<laughs> I can't think of a pure reason why you would paint the floor black, but I can only assume that it's used to prep the room for more killing. Okay, since this game is are you a sociopath? Like there should be a more complicated reason. Behind I think it. it's because I don't black it's is just... the new color of the season. So by painting the floor, <laughs> black... shut, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. So I think that because painting the floor black will invite more guests into the house. More guests means more bodies to stab. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. I think I think my logic is infallible, Daniel. <laughs> Clearly it is. The answer is because dried up blood is less visible in black. So it was kind of a scientific answer. No, yeah, it is. Okay. Well, uh, Jay, I guess you win. Congratulations. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> I'm uh, very happy. All right, Stephen, give me the throne. Oh, okay. <laughs> I shall pass it to you, but I shall remain behind it. Oh, don't worry. I'll <laughs> glad you take on the challenge. <laughs> Daniel, I thought the moral of the story was sociopaths don't want to be revealed as sociopaths so they would get everything wrong on a test to lure people into a false sense of security. You know, or they could just be too stupid to get the answer right. Wow, is that massive shape? <laughs> hey, Daniel, sit on this throne for a sec before Jay does. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hosa. Yes? Come on. You, you want to go get a grub? Let those two just chill here for a second. I'm kind of afraid what would happen if we leave those two alone. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Only good things. Why are you doubting us? I don't know. You guys might plot something. I have no clue. <laughs> we wouldn't do anything, right, Steven? Of course. You have our word. 